we continue with this section, how to make a spinner which look like professionals. Let's begin. Number one. To this, we are going to need a handsaw. You can buy it one at the hardware store. The same with the roll bearing. The design is made on paper, but also which will build the mold. Also, some sphere or marbles and some pet plastic which you can buy on any racing cobble store. But if it's too complicated to find it, change it by the plastic plate which you cut without breaking it. Finally, you need a screwdriver. When you have all the materials, take the pet plastic and trace the design. Then cut the borders. When you have the shape, put on a table or any surface that you won't use anymore. This is really important because we are going to include the design on the pet plastic and the table. Be sure that it's fixed because you have to make the holes with the drill bit. On the holes, you are going to put the roller bearing and the marble. Be sure this is fixed and it doesn't move. Remember, the diameter of the hole should be the same as the roller bearing. That is why it's really important to buy the roller bearing first. It should have 20 mm of diameter. So, you can watch the video, the designer used a hydraulic press to hold it. But probably you don't have one, so use a Raymond Tournique. When you melt the holes, put the roller bearing and marble. If it doesn't fix, you can use glue to fix it. As you can see, the result is perfect. Number 2. For this one you will need a roll bearing, some paper and a good table of around 5 mm. Be sure it's real good. With the help of a compass make the design. In this case it's a classic design of a shuriken spinner of 5 points. Use the drill bit to make the central hole and with the drill make 5 holes more. Then use your hand saw to cut each straight line. Sand it because we want to round off the corners. First we use hand sand. Be sure you go this dry and not too hard. This is to avoid a lot of hard working. Then, with a soft sand, make it smooth the whole surface and paint it good. When you finish, put the roller bearings. Remember to have near you the glue and it's done. Don't forget to soft the corner. This will avoid that you hurt someone or yourself. Extras. For this one you will need a roller bearing of 20 or 25 mm. For nuts and any patty, which allow us a mold for the cover of our spinner. Also, some decorative elements that we want to copy. Bear in mind that it has the same cover diameter. Finally, you will need some tin. This is the straightforward metal to find and manipulate. You can buy it at any hardware store. Melt the metal and put on the mold that you made for the putty. Then take the roller bearing and with glue stick the four nuts. Until now we can say this is a classical spinner, but when you stick the design that we made it's more personalized. Be careful when you stick it on the roller bearing, only do in its inner part, if not won't spin. Number 3. The last seems the easiest one. To make it you are going to need four roller bearing a good table with well-defined betas. So, when you're going to buy it, try to find something that you like. When you have it, trace the design with the drill bit. Make four holes and with your hand saw, we cut the borders. The next step is to sit down and paint the cover of the spinner. Do it before to put the roller bearings. It's done. What do you think? Please! Put your like on the video and subscribe to my social media. 
Thank you. I'm bye.